Hello YouTube, Rick Wilson here. I'm going to start a new series on Yellowstone and this will give everybody an opportunity to actually see what the park itself looks like. And uh, this one's going to be uh, Yellowstone 25 years ago. It's going to be about a 12 part series. I'm going to cover each section of the park. Right, here's a map of the Yellowstone Park. And the first volume one is going to be on the Mammoth Hot Springs, which is right up here. And uh, now I shot all of this uh, footage myself. It's 25 years old. I've been converting it over digitally, trying to save it. And uh, but I thought, well, I could I could make some videos for YouTube and let you see what the park looked 25 years ago. It was pretty daggone hot looking 25 years ago. So uh, you know you can maybe compare that to now. And uh, but I got video of, of Mammoth Hot Springs. I got video of the Norris Geyser Basin. Uh, I got video of the Lower Geyser Basin, Old Faithful. I got video of the West Thumb Geyser Basin. And then way over here, I got video of the Mud Volcano. So we're going to visit all these different sections of the park. And um, you know what we're going to talk about today is Mammoth Hot Springs. And this is what they look like. And, I, and before I put my video on, because the, the, my video of the Mammoth Hot Springs is only a couple minutes long because uh, these hot springs come out on the top of this hill and um, and they and they flow down the, this entire hillside and they build up these dams uh, from the minerals they pick up but let me read you read a little bit here about about mammoth hot springs and then I'll put my video on <laughs> several key ingredients combine to make mammoth hot springs terraces heat water limestone a rock fracture system through which hot water can reach the earth's surface Today's geothermal activity is a link to past volcanism. A partially molten magma chamber, remnant of the volcanic explosion 600,000 years ago in central Yellowstone, supplies the one ingredient, heat. Hot water is the creative force of these terraces. Without it, terrace growth ceases and color vanishes. The source of the water flowing out of Yellowstone's geothermal features is rain and snow, falling high on the slopes in and around Yellowstone. Water seeps into the earth. This cold groundwater is warmed by heat radiating from the magma chamber and then rising back to the surface. The water must be able to reach the earth's surface in large volumes to erupt as a geyser or flow as a hot spring. In Yellowstone, many conduits remain from the collapse of the giant caldera. Frequent earthquakes keep this underground plumbing system open. Even though Mammoth lies north of the Caldera Fracture Ring System, now I'm going to go back to the map here, because Mammoth Hot Springs is way up here to the north, and the rest of all your thermal stuff is all down in here. Um, but even though Mammoth lies north of the Caldera Ring Fracture System, I fault trending north from the Norris Geyser Basin, 21 miles away may connect mammoths to the hot water of that system. A system of small fissures carries the water upward to create approximately 50 hot springs in the Mammoth Springs area. Another necessary ingredient for the terrace growth is the mineral calcium carbonate. Thick layers of sedimentary limestone deposited millions of years ago by vast seas lie beneath the Mammoth area as the groundwater slowly as the groundwater seeps slowly downward and laterally, it comes in contact with hot gases charged with carbon dioxide rising from the magma chamber. Some carbon dioxide is dissolved into the hot water to form carbonic acid. This hot acidic solution dissolves the great quantities of limestone as it works its way up through the rock layers to the surface of the hot springs. Once exposed to the open air, some of the carbon dioxide escapes from the solution. As this happens, limestone can no re longer remain in solution. A solid mineral reforms and it is deposited as travertine, which forms the terraces, which are, are these here. And uh, that, so that's, that's uh, all about the Mammoth Hot Springs and now my video. And uh, stay tuned for part two. And because we're gonna go all over the park and I did some hiking off the trail and back in and I found some thermal features that most people don't see uh, I went in the parts of the park and, 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 and in doing so you'll also see in my videos why this is dangerous um, But contrary to what some people think you can go pretty much anywhere in Yellowstone There is no one to stop you, but you got to be careful because it's, it's actually dangerous in places, but now my video 